On occasion, when I am asked about dinosaurs, I show that dinosaurs, although the word is not found in scripture, they are mentioned, we believe, as tannin, behemoth, and other such words, dragons, that would lead us to believe that dinosaurs are part and parcel of God's creation, and that the Creator, the Lord Jesus Christ, created dinosaurs as well as all the other animals. Most of them, it looked like, became extinct through a catastrophic accident, like perhaps a, a flood. And um, so the dinosaurs that did survive, of course, were able to procreate to a limited extent uh, throughout areas like China, where the national symbol is the dinosaur, England, where we have ideas about King George and the dragon. These are not scientific evidences, of course, but they are legal historical evidences and we can glean some truth through that. So the truth of dinosaurs I think rests in the biblical record primarily and then of course the fossil record as well which is a scientific application. Dinosaurs in the Bible are inextricably linked. The two go together they dovetail just like politics and corruption. So yes, dinosaurs and the Bible go together and are just a wonderful testament to God's creative design. Well, we at ICR feel that there is no dilemma with the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs and the Bible are, are perfectly compatible. We find that you know, scripture teaches in the advent just prior to the Genesis flood that God brought two of every kind of animal on board the ark that would necessarily include the dinosaurs. Uh, we would find that the ark was large enough to hold all of the representative species of animals, which of course would mean dinosaurs as well, juvenile dinosaurs, the teenagers, the young ones. And so we see dinosaurs as uh, missionary lizards, as creatures that point to the creative ability of God as he filled this planet with his diverse life forms, be they plant or animal. So, we love dinosaurs as much as any secular paleontologist. I'd like to share with you a quote from Barbara Stahl's book, Vertebrate History, Problems and Evolution. Barbara Stahl wrote this as an evolutionist, as far as I know today in the 21st century. She is still a committed neo-Darwinian evolutionist, and yet she was very candid in some of the problems that she listed in terms of evolution when it comes to the vertebrates, the animals with a backbone. Here's what Dr. Stahl had to say on page 336 of her book in regard to dinosaurs. She said, and I quote, Paleontologists have virtually no clues to the origin of the Ornithischian dinosaurs, that is the bird hip dinosaurs such as Triceratops, Stegosaurus, and others like that. She continues, they appear in the fossil record in increasing numbers after the middle of the Jurassic period, already structurally distinct from the Saurischians without any telltale traits which might link them to a particular group of earlier archosaurs." End quote. So there you have a committed evolutionary naturalist who is, as I say, speaking candidly and admitting that when it comes to the fossil record, dinosaurs have always been dinosaurs. And there is nothing to link dinosaurs that appear suddenly in the fossil record with any other group of animals. The Saurischian dinosaurs, which is the uh, lizard hip dinosaurs, and Ornithischian dinosaurs, the second group, which are the bird hip dinosaurs, appear suddenly, abruptly, already structurally distinct, which is exactly what the creation model predicts. So the fossil record is the friend of the creation model, but raises serious question marks in terms of the strange idea that says that dinosaurs came from some non-dinosaur non ancestor allegedly millions of years ago.